Guys, what's up? I hope you're doing awesome. This is the Curious Planet and in today's episode we are going to have an insight into the demographics of the southernmost continent of a beautiful planet Earth that is Antarctica. Being the southernmost continent, Antarctica is also the fifth largest of them all. Speaking of its size, it's almost twice the size of Australia. By the way, if you have ever visited the continent, a high five to you. The climate of the place on average is the coldest, driest and windiest of all. Naturally, due to such extremities of weather, it has no native population and is largely unexplored, keeping a lot of secrets buried beneath the ice. Majority of the continent is an ice desert with almost 98% of it covered by ice all the year round. Nobody knows what's down there. Antarctica was first discovered approx a couple of hundred years back in 1820 by a Russian expedition. But it was not until 1895 when the first humans, a team of Norwegians, stepped on the continent. The early inhabitants of the place were primarily British and American sealers. They moved around in the proximity of the place looking for whales. Why whales? Just in case you are unaware, whales are primarily hunted for meat. Oil is extracted from the tissue, which is used in the manufacturing of soap, leather, and cosmetics. Well. Killing of sentient beings for daily life products is not something we should be really proud of, especially in the age when science and technology has evolved to the point where we do have alternatives for stuff. Anyways, today the only people living in Antarctica are those doing some sort of research on the continent. Scientists from 28 different nations conduct their experiments here every year. But why sail to such distant land and endure through such extremities of weather to conduct experiments? The conditions in Antarctica are pretty unique. They cannot be reproduced anywhere in the world. The experiments provide valuable intel. The team of researchers include experts like physicists, astronomers, meteorologists, oceanographers, biologists and all. The number ranges from 1000 to 5000 throughout the year. The number generally goes down during the unforgiving winters. The stations are shut down. It's the holiday time. Everyone goes back home. Uh, spend some happy time with the folks and when the conditions are comparatively less extreme, during the summers they return. During winters, everything freezes to the point where moving in and out of the place gets nearly impossible. The population density on the continent at all times is not even 1% per square kilometer. Several countries do have their permanent research stations on the continent. The smallest of them are operated by as less as 6 people and the largest, the McMurdo station can house up to a thousand people. The stations also have a church opened in 2004 at a Russian station and is managed by two priests all the year round. Speaking of food, the only food available here is shipped from the native countries of the explorers and scientists. Ships also buy food from the on route ports. Though the research stations have cooking facilities, they do grow little food by the hydroponic system. So if you're planning to move to Antarctica by any chance to run your own secret research, cooking skills will come in really handy. For now folks, this is pretty much it. In the future, there will be dedicated episodes about the research on the continent, the research stations, the discovery of the place, the climate and stuff. If you've already been to the place, don't forget to share your experience in the comment section. Also, if you like the episode, do hit that like button, share it with your gang. Subscribe, hit the bell icon to be notified on the new content of the channel. This is Curious Planet signing off. Until next time.